up YouTube? We're going to be looking at the uh, part 5 on the Changes to War Thunder series, looking at aircraft armaments, and boy is this going to be a long one because there's a lot of inaccuracies and a lot of aircraft in this game. Gaijin, to say the least, hates putting realistic armament on aircraft. I'll go over stock armaments in a different video, but for right now, yeah, as well as countermeasures because there's a lot of aircraft missing those. <coughs> and Well, we're going to start off going backwards because that's just where it's better off to do. So if for Israel, the Fear C7, we all know that it carried Python 3s in real life, but Gajin already said in the Q&A that they were not going to add those missiles for whatever reason at all, but it's an 11-3 aircraft that carries rear aspect missiles if you don't really catch the problem right there. Don't worry about my squeaky chair, it's very old and annoying. But the Kfir C7 can also carry AIM-9Ls, four of them to be exact, which is really needed if they're going to keep it at a BR-113. Yeah, it's a fast aircraft, yeah, it's pretty maneuverable, but at the same time it loses all form of energy and it's just... For that BR, it's just not really good. Now for the F4E, it can carry six AIM-9P4s as well, which if you don't know what those are, they're basically an AIM-9P rear aspect 20G missile fitted with an AIM-9L seeker, making them an all aspect 20G missile with a better flare avoidance and an all aspect seeking as well as launch. Now for Sweden, Russia, and Germany, the MiG-21 BIS, all of them can get R60s the standard ones because they replaced them all with the R60Ms. They could just add them as a different modification and then move the R3Ss down to a stock armament, all four of them, so they don't have to worry about that. Now going to China and Taiwan, which I know we skipped Italy and France because for the most part they are, surprisingly enough, the most realistic nations when it comes to missiles. I mean, I know the G91YS can carry four AIM-9Bs, but we don't worry about that. Now when it comes to China and Taiwan, the J7E can carry PL7s, surprisingly enough the J8B cannot, but the J7E can, and just carrying four Magic 1 missiles is not really enough to get it a BR change up to 11.3, so they can just keep it there and just have the missiles. Now for the Q5L, oddly enough, it's also highly inaccurate because it doesn't carry any air-to-air -air missiles at all, or else, because God forbid Gaijin add anything realistic. Now the only reason it's on this list is because it carried three types of missiles, the PL-2s, which could be a stock armament, the PL-5s, and the PL-7s, basically making it an A-5C, just with a lot more ground ordnance as well. You can carry two of each as well, so to make that a little bit better. Now moving on to the Mitsubishi F-1. This is an aircraft that I believe should be down at rank 7 because look at it, there's only one aircraft there and that just kind of makes no sense to have that. But it can also carry four AIM-9 P4s and a flare and countermeasure pod, so, you know, that's not really realistic. If anything, they could just move that to 10.7 if they give it those and flares and countermeasures. It's not really worthy of being 11 out. Now, the F4EJ, the standard one, can carry AIM-9 P4s as well, which, granted, it doesn't need a BR change because it can only carry four of them, and at that, really not the greatest missile of all, so... It's not like you're adding like an A9X or anything while everything else has R3s and A9Bs. Now the F4 EJ Kai can carry A9P4s as well. That could be an earlier modification. <coughs> and um, AM3s, which are basically Magic 2s. It's kind of like Python 3s. They're pretty much Magic 2s, just a little bit better. Longer burn time and all that. And it can carry up to four of them. They gave it A9Ls. And if they gave it AM3s, doesn't need to move up any further to 12 0 Don't worry about my squeaky chair again. Now for Britain, we all know that all three of these aircraft on this list, we probably can guess them as well as we all know that they can carry AIM-9Ls. That would be the F-4M and the F-4K, which are the FG-1 and the FGR-2, as well as the Buccaneer S-2. Now I don't really know why the Buccaneer S-2 was added with AIM-9Bs only. It can carry AIM-9Ls, obviously. And judging by other aircraft at around this BR range in speed and overall performance and capability. The Buccaneer S2 could get AIM-9Ls and probably just move to 9.7 or something. There's no real need to give it that big of a BR increase because it can only carry 104 flared and jaff, which if you're your average A-10 player, you'll just sit there and 
put on periodic countermeasures and just kind of let it go for the rest of the match. And the two Phantoms obviously don't need a BR increase. They're already 11-3. They just need the AIM-9Ls. Moving on to Russia, if you know anything about the AK-38, it can also carry R6DMs, which for those on an R the AK-38 uh, airframe is very good because it's also pretty good right now as it is a standard R60s, a little on getting all aspect ones. Now with this, it could probably move up to, TN, uh, to BR 10.3 as well as rank 7 because there's, uh, I have other ideas for rank 6 they could put there. <coughs> now the Su 17 M4, standard R60s, up to 4 of them would be a decent thing to do. Well, up to 6 of them I guess. And the Su-22 M3, the Syrian one, uh, which is the squadron, can also carry R-60 MKs, which is very interesting as of the why they haven't added them. If you're all the American mains that love to cry that Russia is biased, even though they're really not, which they had to nerf the MiG-29 severely because American mains cried, so I don't really want to hear it because they get their way a lot. And I'm more or less a Russian main now because God forbid I get fucked over multiple times with having to research the Tomcat and down that line because I thought that there would be less vehicles required to move on to rank 8 for America and they just keep adding more and then moving vehicles around so now I have to go through the entire F4J line which granted I'm already researching the FHC as well as the entire A10 line well down to the A10 while being at the AM1 Mauler right now which is not really the greatest thing but back to the Russian shit the MiG-21 SMT as well as the German MiG-21 MF can get R-13M1s. I already talked about the BISs. MiG-23M can get the standard R-60 modification as well as the MLD. And the MLD and the German MLA can also get R-73s, which I know was the whole shing ding that they got removed from the MiG-29. But granted, this is a MiG-23, and it can only carry two of them. So if you add it up, it's only four missiles total. And it could probably use them. So, it, if anything, just move up to 11.7. It'd be perfectly fine then. Both of them would be the MLA and the MLD. The MiG-27M and the K can both get R60s, uh, the standard R60 modifications as well. Moving on to the Germans, the MLA, the BIS, and the MF we already talked about with the Russians. The Su-22 UM-3K can get R60 MKs. The only variant of the fitter that the Germans operated that only carried standard R60s was the Su-20M, which is not in the game. And really, the F4F, which moved down conveniently enough, can get AIM-9Ls, only four of them. So without Sparrows, that'd be a solid 11-0 or maybe even 11-3 if they really had to. <coughs> Don't mind me coughing, I've like already pre-recorded this video three times and have to keep redoing it because my thing likes to work on a basis of 0% so far. Now, F4F moving down to 11.3 with AIM-9Ls is fairly good. I mean, I don't really know why it doesn't have them in the first place. They keep moving it down in BR because it's a shitty plane, but, like, just give it its realistic missiles and it'd be perfectly fine at a higher BR. Now moving on to the Americans, the F-89D and the F-3D-1 Skynet can carry the AAM-1 Sparrow-1 missiles, which are very terrible uh, semi-active radar homing missiles, which is why you can see the radar on the F-89D and the F-3D-1. The F-89D can carry up to four of them in replacement of all of its rockets, conveniently also carrying them on the little pods where the rockets go. And the F-3D-1 can carry up to six of them, which they're nothing they're nothing good they're like similar in performance to an A9B if that now the F104s the A and the C which are very very terribly implemented in game for one the F104C is missing countermeasures as well as the missiles but the F104A is missing A9Cs and A9Ds which were tested by the US Navy which if you don't know about the A9Cs and Ds the D is a cage seeker similar to like an A9B with a harder pull, similar to an A9G or J, which is about 18, 20 Gs. And the A9C is a 10G maneuver semi-active radar version of the A9 Sidewinder, which 
if they did that, the F-104A can probably move to 9-7. And the 104C, if it got flares, countermeasures, and four AIM-9Es, which it did carry, it could probably move up back up to 10-0 because it would be perfectly fine. Which, if you don't know, the 104C can carry four AIM-9Es, two on the wingtip, two on the fuselage, so similar to like the F-104Gs and Ss in the game already. Now the F-5E Tiger II, the American one, <laughs> God forbid this aircraft even exists at 11-0. Right now, I would say it should be the same BR as the F-5C. It's not worthy of being an 11-0 aircraft. Which it realistically carried AIM-9P4s, AIM-9Ps, and AIM-9Ls. Which, of course, AIM-9Ls would just be the only thing that this thing would be worthy of staying at 11 4 because it's just not really that good. When you can, when you can only carry two air-to-air -air missiles, rear aspect that don't pull that hard. <sighs> There's just just something about that, and having an outrageous repair cost of like damn near 20k. It's just not. It's nothing. It's nothing worth it. Now the AVHC, we all know, can carry a whole aspect of missiles. The A9Gs are the only ones fitted, even though they're not really the ones that the AVHC used that much. It used AIM-9Ds more often, and AIM-9Hs more often. And the AIM-9Ds could probably be added as like a stock missile, and the AIM-9Hs obviously is like a rank 4 modification. And the last aircraft I'm going to talk about are the two American Phantoms, the American Air Force Phantoms, that is. Because right now the F-4C should be getting the same exact armament that the F-4E is getting right now when it comes to air-to-air -air armaments. The F-4C should also get a flare and countermeasure pod, but the AIM-7E, the AIM-7E2, and the AIM-9J should also be missiles that the F-4C can carry, four of each. And the F-4C would be a solid 10-7 at rank 7, which would also add more vehicles to the rank, because looking at rank 6, they already have plenty of vehicles there, so you could just start moving stuff. Now the F-4E can also carry AIM-9Ls and AIM-7Fs, as well as really nothing else. Is really the main things, and I'm not really happy about it being there. Because as of right now, none of that armament is really all that good with having the high repair cost that it has. I mean, it, it can literally carry this. It can, it's basically able to carry the same armament as the F4EJ. So, that logic, it could just move up to rank 8 and it'll be R of 11.7 and it'd be fine. But, God forbid we have realism. Because, why would we? Yeah, that's really all the more I have to talk about. And the next video, part 6, we'll be going over rank changes when it comes to the air tech trees. So, uh, yeah, if you really have anything to say about it, I'll be there in the comments. So, uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Ciao.